Hey everybody, this is Boathouse Looper again. I'm going to show you how to work with duplicate protection here in the online want list generator. So you can see I'm sitting at steps four and five here. I've got my list of games listed across the top here, and all the games that I'm interested in trading for listed over here on the left. <clears throat> One way to look at the trades is to say that for this game, I would trade any single game here because I've got all these checked. So what we're looking at here is the intersections of games. Sometimes there's questions from new traders on how to set up your trade list. And you can see that as the games change, the way I've checked them changes. So for this, uh, let's say a real game here, Bombay, I'm saying that I'll trade any one of these with a check for this item. So we're looking for the crosses here where these two colors meet. Um, but let me show you how to do duplicate protection because I've got multiple copies of things like uh, Ticket to Ride and Bombay on my list and I don't only want one copy I don't want two. And the way this is set up right now is that it's possible that I could get two copies because I could say I'll take Bombay and I could trade it for China but down here I might also end up trading it for uh, something else. Um, another game I got checked here the Last Night on Earth miniatures so let me go into duplicate protection because I only want one copy, I don't want two. And this is for some advanced users here, this create new dummy item. <clears throat> just go into the create dummies the easy way. And I'm just going to check one right now in case I screw this up <laughs> and have to come back in and do it again. Because I'm only going to get one shot at it um, because once I've created them I don't want to try and go back through and add more things to my list. So I'm just going to do it once. And there's a description down here that talks about how this works, but I'm going to show you visually. So I'm going to say Submit. And now it's created the dummies. What this has done is it's added another list, another game, essentially, on the side. And this is going to be my duplicates. Now every instance of Antiki is going to show up red because now it's also checked and wanted by itself, which is what this warning is telling us at the top here. Or the I'm sorry, the warning down at the bottom. It says you're, you're, you're basically it's wanting itself. So when I was talking before about the intersections of Antiki being possibly traded for China, here Antiki could possibly be traded for Antiki, and that can't happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to where Antiki has been created as the dummy item. You'll notice that I cannot choose it here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose every item that I would take, that I would trade for Antiki. Okay, so China, Last Night on Earth, and uh, my three Wii games. So what I have to do then is come up and uncheck all the original copies, but leave this one checked here. Okay, so once I uncheck all those, I'll come down here and I'll say confirm changes. And you'll see that the warning is gone. This has remained. The copies of Antiki that uh, were originally offered by the users in the geek list, those are all blanked out, but they're now wanting this other game, which is now showing up here. It's got the green background. So basically, we're inserting another game in there and it's taking the place of multiple copies of games that users have offered and that's duplicate protection that's all there is to it